Hello guys, welcome to the next video on Qt tutorial for beginners. In the last video, we have seen how we can create a simple notepad in Qt. And we have uh, provided these uh, toolbar icons and menu items to our uh, notepad, right? And uh, we have uh, implemented the code for cut, copy, paste, redo and undo. Now today we will try to complete the rest of the code for new open save and save as uh, buttons so let's get started so in the last video i have uh, provided the trigger for each of uh, these actions right so let's uh, just uh, you know go to these uh, trigger actions and then uh, write some code there so first of all i will uh, go to my uh, header file which is main window dot h file and in here I will uh, declare a string variable which will be a Q string and I will name it as a file name and uh, this file name we will uh, use to uh, just uh, save the path of the file okay you can just uh, say here file path which will be more clear okay so just declare this uh, variable in the private uh, access modifier here which is file path which is a Q string variable now we are going to go to our main window uh, .cpp file and first of all we will go to the code for the new uh, button okay so this is our new button which is uh, this one right so we will write the code for that which uh, will be a little bit simple so I will just call uh, the variable which I have declared which is uh, file path and I will just set it to uh, empty string right so whenever somebody creates um, a new or whenever somebody clicks this new button this file path will be resetted and we want to clear the uh, text edit also so we can just write UI and then uh, text edit and we can just set text to uh, empty string right so you can just try it like this so we are basically here doing the resetting of uh, the text edit and this global variable which is uh, file path now let's go to uh, the open uh, button triggered um, function which is for opening the new file right now if you have followed my Q file video and Q file dialog video then uh, uh, it will be really simple uh, to you know understand this code which I am writing. So what we need to do is first of all we need to uh, open a Q file dialog here so I will just uh, write Q file dialog but first of all I need to include the header for this right. So I will just include a header for um, Q file dialog so just write Q file we also need Q file so I will just add this also right so Q file and then I will include a Q file dialog and we also need to include one more header file which is Q text stream so just write Q text stream and we are done including the header so we can write the code here right so first of all in here we will declare our Q string variable which uh, we will use to uh, save the file name using the Q file dialog so just write uh, Q string Q file name is equal to Q file uh, dialog and then call a static method which is get open uh, file name and we will just provide two variables here first is the parent and second is the caption or title for this so for example open the file right and rest of the 
rest of the argument uh, I'm not going to provide right so if you want to uh, provide the default location third argument will be for the default location and the fourth argument will be for the filters but uh, I hope you uh, know how to do this I have shown you in the previous video how to use Q file dialog so now we have the file name using the Q file dialog and then what we are going to do here is we will declare uh, object of uh, q file here and we will just pass this uh, file name here which we got from the q file dialog right and now we will just provide a if condition and we will check if uh, this file so just write not and then write file dot open so we will check if the file is open or not and then we will provide some flags here first will be a uh, q file uh, read only so just write read only and uh, the second flag will be uh, the text file so we want to read a text file right so just write q file and then just call text here right so the, these are the two flags and if the file is not open then we don't want to work with the file so we want to just show some uh, message right so we can add one more uh, include here for a queue message so just include uh, this queue message box header class and then we will uh, just add a queue message box and third is the warning uh, message so i will just say file not open okay so i will show this message and then i will return right because if the file is not open we don't want to work with the file and because this function is uh, void returning void so we can just uh, write return and then from here the program will not go further right and if the file is open then we want to perform some code so we can just write q text uh, stream so just write text stream and then give the variable name and then give the reference to the file and then we can work with uh, this stream so just write q uh, string here and we will name it as uh, text and whatever uh, is there in the stream we will pass to this string so just write in dot read all okay and uh, once we have the string we can set it to our uh, text edit so just write ui text edit and then just write set text and we will just pass this text uh, to our here to our edit text okay and once you are done with uh, the code you can just close the file so just write the file dot close okay so this is how you can uh, read the file now for uh, writing or saving uh, the file what you can do here is you can just copy all the code and now we will go to the save uh, uh, trigger button right so this is save and we also need to write some code for save as right so first we will write the code for save okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to uh, copy and paste the same code and i will just change uh, this code a little so just copy the code you have written here and paste it here in the save uh, triggered right and this time instead of uh, using get open file dialog we will uh, just call a method called get save file dialog okay so just uh, write get save file name and then the argument will be the same and then it will uh, ask you the to provide the file name and then uh, you will have the file name here and then we can save the file right so in the case of writing the file we just need to provide the flag which is write only and the second flag will be the same right and uh, then 
instead of uh, q stream in we want to provide for example this argument will be out and instead of uh, getting the uh, you know in stream or text from the stream we want to get the text from the text edit right so just write uh, edit text call uh, to plain text okay which will give you the text of the text edit okay and then at the last we can uh, take our uh, out variable from here and then we can just pass our text to uh, this variable out okay which is like this okay and then uh, at the end we just need to flush the file first of all and then close the file so first flush it and then close it as we have seen in the uh, previous videos and I think here this code will be for uh, the save as I just uh, wrote a little bit uh, not wrong but uh, I should have uh, written this code for save as and for save we just need to get the global variable and pass it here right so what we are going to do here is once in the open function whenever we are opening the file we need to just take this uh, file name and pass it to our global variable which is file name right so in the open go to open here and then uh, just use file path is equal to file name right so it will be saved globally right and then take your file path from here and then uh, we will provide it in the save uh, function right so instead of uh, calling the file stream we can just provide directly the path of the file which we want to save right because it's already open okay and in save as we want to give the user the ability to uh, use this uh, file dialog okay so that's why we want to use this kind of code so save as and then the file uh, name will be new and then uh, it, it can be saved okay and in here we want to uh, just give the file name again so file path is equal to file name okay so let's run the code and let's see if it works or not so i'm going to just um, run the code and now it's running so what i'm going to do first of all i will uh, first of all uh, create some files so i will uh, just add some uh, random uh, text here or let me do one thing i will just copy uh, this code from here and i will paste it here okay and then I want to save it. So first of all, I am going to uh, save this file and I will uh, click this button which says save as, right? So I will just click this button which will uh, give me the file dialog. And this is the location where my binary of my project is, right? So I will just give uh, the name of my file, for example, my file.txt and I will just save it, okay? and then for example i just uh, want to clear this file so i will just click new button and then for example i want to open the same file so i will go here uh, to open the file to click this button open and then i will just choose my file which i have created which is my file and click open which will open my file like this okay and now for example I want to uh, you know give some comments here so I will just provide uh, some uh, comment and I want to save it so I will just click this save button which will save my file right and now I want to just uh, clean it or I will just say new and I will open the file once again and you can see my comment is already there because I have saved this comment right and then I can uh, undo or redo uh, whenever I uh, add something for example this I want to undo I can do it or redo I can do it or other functionality we have already seen cut copy paste right now the last thing here is to give the about uh, you know button here so it's really easy 
uh, you may know what to do here so I will just go to about button and in here I will just call a queue message box so just write queue message box and then call about button and uh, in here it will take three argument as always first will be uh, the text or, or the parent so just write uh, this second argument will be uh, the text right so let's create some uh, text or a message so for example I will just write Q string and uh, I will just say about text okay and then I can create some text so what I will do here is uh, for example I will just add some text so So this text I'm going to pass here so this will be shown in the about button right I think I should have provided the title also here right so it will be correct so for example uh, about notepad okay so this is, can be our about button so I'm going to run the code and let's see if it works or not so I will just click this uh, about button and it will give me uh, this uh, kind of uh, about uh, message I forgot to give this line breaks here so let's provide these line breaks so it will look a little bit nicer and let's run the code once again and uh, let's see what happens so once again and now the message looks a little bit cleaner okay so in this way you can uh, create this notepad uh, I will say this notepad is not entirely perfect you can uh, use your imagination to add some more functionality to this notepad uh, and uh, it's not also bug free so just uh, search uh, for the bugs if you can find any bug you can uh, just uh, comment uh, and I will try to uh, you know remove that box so i hope you have understood this uh, concept and i hope you enjoyed this video please write comment subscribe and bye for now